Hi everyone, uh, you're very welcome to our gardening shorts videos from the children's garden. So today, because we're all missing our friends and family and we can't give them hugs, we thought um, it'd be a nice idea to make a little friendship garden using our hands and then you can give that on to your favourite people. Um, so what you need for it is a, a container. So this one is like an ice cream uh, box that can hold one little hand. But today we're gonna use a shoe box and you can do like a family hand. So we can have two hands in this box. And you need your compost. Um, you need some uh, card, some kind of light card, and a pencil and a um, scissors. And uh, then some grass seed, because that's what we're growing today is grass. So what you do is you get your card and first of all you need to um, cut it down to size. So it needs to be the size of your box. So you can uh, draw around the size of uh, your box to get the outline but it does need to fit into your box because it's going to sit on the top of your soil. So um, it has to, to fit nice and snugly in there. And then the next thing you do is you draw around your hand. I'm drawing around Harry's fingers here and we're spreading his fingers as wide as possible so that the shape is differentiated really well when it, the grass grows up through it. Then we need to cut out our hand shapes and remember we are we want to save the outline of the hands rather than the inner bit of the hands themselves. Next we're going to fill up our container or shoebox with our compost, make sure it's firm down nicely and nice and even along the surface as well. We're then going to add our hand stencil on top of it and add our grass seed. I've pre-watered this compost before I put the stencil down so the seed will stick to it really well. So we want it spread nice and evenly and quite thickly across the top of the compost. And don't worry too much if some of the seed gets you know, in under the stencil because, well, firstly, the seed needs light to germinate. So the, the seed under the stencil isn't gonna do so well, but also we can, we can pull out any stray bits of grass as well. But it's important to get some seed on all, like reaching all the way to the tips of the fingers and down to the wrist and all over it. So what you need to do then is just put it in a warm wind on a warm windowsill, uh, or even outside when it's, when it's starting to get a little bit warmer. You'll be able to; it'll grow outside. And within a couple of weeks, um, you should start your grass should start growing. Um, and sometimes it gets a bit raggedy, so you can actually cut it with the scissors and keep it nice and neat. So after a couple of weeks, your grass hands should be grown and you can reveal it. You can take off your cardboard stencil to see your hand shape. So you can see there's a couple of little stray bits of grass there and we can just pull them out. So it looks pretty good. And now you can start decorating it. I have lollipop sticks and I stuck them on with I had a glue gun so I was able to stick them onto the side of this. Um, uh, but you can also, this is cardboard, so you could paint it, you could stick things on the side. I have some gravel here, so I'm spreading that on the bits of the compost that don't have any grass seed on it, just to show up the shape of my hand a bit better. But there's lots of other things you can do if you've got some shells from the beach or some little stones or even some figures if you have them at home. It might be a fun way to decorate it, so you can let your imagination run wild. And then when it's done, you can give it to your favorite person.